Hey guys, so if you're a Mac user, you might know about the recent addition of low power mode to the Mac in macOS Monterey. This is a feature brought over from the iPhone and iPad, and aims to reduce energy consumption by possibly throttling background tasks of applications, lowering the refresh rate on Macs with ProMotion displays, throttling the CPU and more. But I wanted to find out if enabling low power mode actually makes a difference to the energy consumption of the Mac. Therefore, I ran a series of battery and performance tests to find out. To make the test more fair, I configured the brightness and speaker volumes to the same levels. I will also be looking at coconut battery for the true value of the state of charge of the battery as macOS and Apple products are known to lie about that. So I started with a 1 hour 4K HDR video playback test. After 1 hour, we can see that low power mode with the optimized video streaming while on battery setting turned on has actually allowed it to gain a 1% lead. This is likely because of the system disabling HDR, which lowers the peak screen brightness and saves energy. Next, I move on to some browser benchmarks such as Speedometer, Jetstream 2 and Motion Mark. After almost another 40 minutes to an hour, the low power mode did not even complete some of the tests at all and even reported a power consumption of as low as 3 watts during the Jetstream 2 benchmark. So that's really surprising and I'm not sure if that's a good thing. For other tests, the performance was half or even lower than half with the low power mode. At this point, the low power mode system is reporting about 1.9% higher state of charge than the system with normal power consumption, with losses on failed tests and human errors corrected for. Following that, I ran some Geekbench 5 CPU and compute tests. It looks as if single core performance is not affected, which means that the performance cores are running at full power. But multi core performance has decreased, which could possibly be a sign of some performance cores being turned off. For the compute test, on both OpenCL and Metal, performance is pretty similar, so it seems like the newer engine cores are still running at almost full power. In the end, the low power mode Mac uses a total of 16%, while the normal power Mac uses a total of 18.1%. This means that the low power mode actually decreases power consumption by around 11%. Putting this into context, it could mean that if your normal workload drains the battery in 5 hours, low power mode could make your Mac last an additional 30 minutes. However, is low power mode worth that performance drop seen in the web benchmarks? I'm not too sure about that, although I suspect it might be a bug. I believe that low power mode does not show significant benefits on Apple Silicon Macs due to the fact that the performance per watt is already so low, but on Intel Macs, this could bring much bigger benefits. Anyways, that is all I have for this video. So if you enjoyed this video, do consider liking the video to show your support. And if you want to see more tech related content, do consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.